So this is the lesson on Big Road Blues, well my version anyway. It's a bit different of course than uh, Tommy Johnson's, but uh, I think that's allowed here. So we're in drop D tuning, and this is my low D string, stick string is tuned down a full step. And of course this is a song that's uh, a mix of strumming and uh, finger picking and it will really free up your right hand. So let's start with uh, the first line. And you notice the muting of the bass because if you don't do that it sounds... It's gonna sound into the other beats and uh, it's not a pretty sound I think. Now my technique here is I'm using my first two fingers and pretty much the, the middle plays the first string and the uh, index the second string and I strum up wrapping those strings and that's why the third and the, even the fourth string also will ring. And also the down strums are with the two fingers like that. Maybe change a little bit the angle to show you that. And when you find in the tap a downward arrow, that's done with the fingers, not with the tap. See the second beat? First two beats. go to the basic arrangement behind the vocals and let's start from the top again. And there I start with my index finger and a lot of people play those, uh, well that ascending bass line with a tap. Nothing wrong with that but I prefer to do it with the index, index tap. And my index finger, when it goes up, it, it will bend a little bit. I'm not holding it stiff like that, but loosely. Like, you see, it bends a little bit like that. And I'm really hitting the, the fourth string really hard so that the fifth string will also, well, not ring because I'm gonna mute that with my second finger when I go up but it will give you a, a bit of a percussive uh, sound. And you see that the last note on uh, the third, fourth and fifth measure is played with a temp. So we have that like that. So let's do it slowly from the top. And notice that the D chord that is played uh, every first um, well beat of the fourth and fifth and sixth measure. I'm also playing that with the two fingers, middle for the first, index for the second string and, and a sl small um, upstroke and I keep it short and mainly 
because I leave the left hand fingers to do the bass run of course. So I don't mute there with the, with the right hand, but it's the left hand that goes up and kills the sound, so to speak. And you see I'm really hitting hard, not with, well with the, almost the, the thump here, the top strings, and especially in the last uh, verse, I really do it uh, very uh, percussive. So you only hear the upgoing sound of the fourth string almost, and and the top string is is, is um, well percussive. Don't have to do that all the time, but it's a possibility, of course. So um, one more time from the top, and if you have trouble, um, the first uh, measure. This first, this, sorry, the second and the fourth beat where we do a triplet. That you can do that as a couple as well. And so you leave out the middle up strum. See? If, it, if it's too much, too difficult to, to do a triplet, you can do a couple of chords. But try the triplet, it's, it's more funkier, I think. Okay. And that upstroke is very lightly. seventh measure we're going to the G chord and keep the basses a little bit muted with the right hand palm here and that it is that down strum of the last beat of the seventh measure is also muted This uh, uh, stands out more if you muted that previous down strum. And that down strum, last beat of the seventh measure, is with the fingers, not the thump. <clears throat> okay. And there, the, the ninth and the tenth measure is, of course, the same as the first and the second measure. Um, I wonder... I'm playing the last beat of the eighth measure with a thump. So we have that down strum and then the thump. By the way, Tommy jo Johnson didn't play a uh, discord progression like this. I saw Rory Block do that the first time. He plays. He goes to a G7 uh, chord, partial G7 chord, simply like this. I think this is more interesting because you have that movement on the third string. All right, so we were uh, the ninth and the tenth measure. Here I added uh, a two-beat measure, the eleventh uh, measure, 
which is, well, in no version you're going to find that. It's, well, simply my way of going to the A chord. And this is, of course, typical uh, Blind Boy Fuller, uh, Reverend Gary Davis movement. So I dump the last beat of the tenth uh, measure, well, second part of that beat. So it's. I slide to the A chord, pinch the open second and the fourth string, and then. And a roll. Second and fourth fret on the uh, third and uh, fifth string, and then open middle index. rolling feeling. You can of course leave out that roll. Like that. And then pinch open second and fourth string. That A I think usually play something like that, that with the long uh, A chord. So I'll keep it on the short A7 chord. So So we went to that A the second beat is a triplet like that down up So in the second and uh, fourth beat of that 13th measure, we have triplets. All right, let's do it as slow as possible and I'll try to add the vocals. it for the introduction and the verse and in the original there are no solos I believe so to make it a bit more interesting I added two solos uh, with some various elements and we're starting this well I'll play this the uh, first solo slowly starting with a slide up to the fifth fret, well indefinite slide, you slide and somewhere at the fifth fret you start, but you don't, don't do that. And I'm doing that with my fingers here, down and upward strums. And my palm here, when I go down, you hear me, only the first two strings ring and since I'm bending the second string, the third string is muted by the second finger that goes up. But it's important that you're not going to do like that because that sounds pretty awful, so must be a controlled strum upwards and downwards. Mm -hmm. 
And this, of course, is Tommy Johnson's um, other song about the alcohol. I forgot the name, I did a version of it. Um, Can't Heat. Where are you? a lesson on that also in another lesson pack I think. Okay. Two fingers held together. Try to do it once. And I'm hitting with the palm of the hand here the top string so that they don't bring. Even even when I go down like that. Okay, and then with the temp, and then we go to the low um, D chord at the seventh fret, and Pinky does the tenth fret first string. I did maybe that second beat instead of a strum. Like that, simply like that. We're gonna do that later more. You can do that down some as well, and again afterwards we mute it with the down going palm. Slide down from the ninth fret with the third finger, and then to our uh, G chord. We've seen that before. At last beat, twentieth measure, strumming down with the fingers, and then I'm going to a D-shaped chord, moved up so it becomes a G, and that twenty-first beat is played well the same as. And we're gonna do that here. So. Uh, and here it's important, of course, to mute those bass strings. That sounds awful, so. I get a little per percussive uh, effect because, well, I'm, I'm hitting all the strings almost, but because I'm muting them, with my palm, they are not hurt. And even that third string is not hurt prominent, but it's there. Okay, and then the last beat, well, the no last note of that beat, uh, 21st measure is with the tap. Let's play this 20th and 20th. 21st measure once more. So that is um, the measures 9, 10, 11 of the previous verse. Same. Uh, that's why I didn't run them out in the tap, but uh, a reference to them. And then we go after the. Simple uh, boogie figure, and there in the third uh, beat, that's temp index and temp. And sometimes I do like that, temp index temp, but all on the fourth string, uh, uh, second fret. But if you can get the open A string, it's, it sounds better. And that's also. With a tap. I indicated that in the tap. And then. Uh, pull off with a tap. I, I hit it with a tap. And then slide into the second fret, fifth string. Followed by a bend on the third fret, fourth string. Let it ring one beat or more 
it doesn't really matter and then so again that whole uh, thing in the A part and sorry I made a mistake in the tap I'm it should be from the four three Do. But it's more difficult to go to that third fret and do that better. Fourth fret. Four, three, two, open. So. Another solo, and I'll play that slowly first. Starting with that long uh, A chord, uh, sorry, D chord, slide to the seventh fret, and then that second beat of the third measure is that slap, and the last beat I'm strumming down with the fingers, not the tap, and then I slide again. Now that sometimes I add a little, little few, a few notes to make it more uh, well um, syncopated. You can use anything using those uh, positions. Uh, and I'm, I can't really remember what I really did, but this is a, a, a solution, of course. A chord, uh, sorry, uh, G chord uh, section as before. And then we have a boogie figure going to the fifth fret, just uh, fretting the first, uh, like the top two uh, strings, the fifth and the sixth. And it's a rocking moving jump index. Last uh, note of the fourth beat is a temp. And I made a little mistake in the when I demonstrated it at first. Uh, it's important to play in the 36th measure that open uh, D string in the last uh, beat. And that's not the same as before. I'm playing that. And I'm that's an upstroke, two fingers. And then downstroke. And again I'm muting all the other strings and going down. Alright, that 36th and 37th measure once more.
same section as before. And notice that third beat in the third, 39th measure. I sometimes uh, mute by, after I picked it, put my fingers, uh, picking fingers on the string so I get a short sound. And that, of course, in the fourth measure, that's a typical um, Scrapper Blackwell movement. He uses this uh, not in, uh, well, in his blues in A, uh, sorry, in D, uh, often, uh, but, but, but um, hammered on. So, and the end, um, well, it's not in the tab, but it's very uh, easy. So you simply, it's a um, typical turnaround. He uses that in Cantique as well. Fifth and seventh fret and going down. And to the tenth fret slide. Different feeling then, and then okay. That was uh, well everything I had to tell about um, Tommy Johnson's Big Road Blues. Have fun with it.